Hi, I wanted to quickly come on and maybe discuss um, a subject that will affect us all if it's not affecting us all already, which is the menopause. Um, I am now, I would definitely say perimenopausal. Um, I'm 47 and I've definitely noticed since I hit 45 a massive change in my skin on my face and on my body, um, my hair. It's it is like have had gone back in time and everything that I was doing for the last sort of 20 so years um, and, and the products that I've been using and how I've been doing makeup or hair, it's all had to change. And um, what I found is my hormonal levels, I'm now on um, HRT and um, different combination pills and gels and stuff like that, which is really helping with my estrogen levels. Um, but what I wanted to sort of tell you a bit more about is um, my story with my perimenopause and what, how it's affected me and also the products I've been using with Tropic that are really making a difference. So the perimenopause and menopause affects us everybody in a different way and I have a variety of different friends and you know we talk about different symptoms and we're not necessarily the same. How, how I experience it and what I'm going through at the moment um, since about 45, I would say I started to get a much of an oilier skin. I had big hormonal breakouts and I hadn't really suffered from blemishes or, or hormonal spots at all since probably being a teenager. So it really does knock your confidence. It makes you, um, you suddenly feel like, you know, you're spotty and you're oh, overnight. It was, it was really, really um, mentally hard I would say it's really strange to go back to being um, someone who has blemishes and things you think god we did this years ago I'm through all this surely give me a break and it's really really hard um, you tend to get them you know it's in more hormonal rather than a normal breakout because it doesn't have to be around your nose or your or your um, your um, forehead it tends to be around your chin um, or around your jawline and again, I'm sure anyone who's going through perimenopause or is menopausal, you would have read, you read a lot of this online. So really just, there's so much more knowledge and information out there. So definitely I would suggest reading up as much as you can, trying to help yourself as much as you can. But from my perspective, um, I noticed that I was getting uh, more headaches. I was also getting, because of my hormonal dip, um, it was just, I needed that estrogen boost. So that certainly helped with the HRT and the gels. Um, but the, the hormone, just going back to my skin, the hormonal breakouts were really hard. Um, and, you know, then you go the wrong route and you start covering it up with lots of makeup and then you get clogged up skin and it just gets worse. Um, so hold, hold fire, take heart. If this is your element, this is how you're dealing with an, um, your perimenopause and this is what you're finding, how you're being affected is via hormonal, you know, cysts and all these sorts of things, there is something you can do. You can certainly just strip back um, your makeup, strip back your skincare routine, definitely get on the estrogen bandwagon, that's definitely going to help you um, and definitely go and see your doctor about that. But there are things that you can take. It's consistency of skincare. It is making sure that you're using clean products, whether that's makeup brushes, um, sponges, whatever you're using, and using the right products because it's really strange. I would, I would get quite breakouts, but my skin would be still quite dry. So it's using certain things. So what I've been using, and it's it's so much better than what it was. It's 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 miraculous. Um, clear skies. I use this every morning, so I don't use a rich clean a cleanser every day. A gorgeous smoothing cleanser is is one of my must-haves, but I tend to do that of an evening to remove makeup. This is perfect. So if you have an oilier combination skin or you've had hormonal breakouts, it's a gentle wash, reduces the sebum oil levels on your skin, clears out and, and declogs your pores. So anything that's really going to gently exfoliate. Um, and then also that helps with then scarring as well. So if you have then had hormonal breakouts, you then get the scarring. So you've got Juicy Greens, which is a, a daily exfoliator. Absolutely fabulous. And that's really great for combination skin. Um, You've also got um, your Fresh Wave. So if you are looking for not such a rich moisturizer in the day, if you find you're very, very oily in your T-zone, you can certainly look at Pure Lagoon. You can look at Ocean Dive as well, which is a great on the spot pore treatment. So if you are having breakouts, you can just use that of an evening. Our masks, 
um, also our gorgeous masks, the New Horizon one, which is the blue one, you can use that as an on the spot uh, treatment and sleep in that and then wash that off the next day. You can use it on your T-zone. So if you, if you are more of an oily, that's how you've been affected by perimenopause, I definitely recommend those products. Um, what I will be doing underneath this video, I'll be posting and linking all the information of all the products I've mentioned. But if you do need any more advice about what you're going through and how your skin's different or your hair's different and you want further advice, please contact me. Look on our web shop if you don't feel comfortable talking to me. Um, but I promise I'm friendly. And um, we've all had these, you know, we're all going through it and we're all going through different hormones. And it's so great now that everyone's talking about it. It's brilliant to have this conversation. So you can have oily skin. You can also go really, really dry. You can get rosacea. You can get dry skin. Um, dry patches on your face, sore, you can go completely the other way. So then you're looking for collagen boosting products, you're looking for your skin dream, your skin feast. Um, you're also looking for oil, so down your neck gets, you can get um, less collagen and more creping, you can get itchy skin. That I mean that can be a massive thing for people and that's more body necessarily than your face. But we've got gentle body washes, we have um, wash it, body washes that are great and fragrance free, so really gentle on your skin. Be beautiful oils for your body, we have body love. Um, we have so many different um, products that will aid if you do have dry or itchy skin or scalps. Um, but I just wanted to briefly touch on this. I know that it's great that everyone's talking about the menopause a lot more now, but I just wanted to let you know that there is lots of help out there there's lots of tropic products that will really help and make a difference if you do need any help creating your dream routine and of what your skin is currently like and you need more help and advice please contact me um, and also consider you know you get your your skincare to the right place but then consider what you're putting on top of that think about how natural your makeup is is it blogging up your your pores is it clogging up is it just adding to the problem so really try and strip everything back um, but I know that once I have, you know, I do still get the odd hormonal breakout, you know, that stuff's still going to happen because that's just, you know, time of the month things. But it'd be the odd one and it's gone within a few days because I'm ocean diving it and I'm just um, on top of it. But compared to what it was, I mean, it can really knock your confidence. But it's time to take back control, ladies. Do what needs to be done. Adapt. It's very, very scary when you've been a certain way for 20 years and you think, you you know, you've gone for your beauty and you've gone for all this oily and the greasiness or the dry skin, whatever it is, and then it's changed again and you have to adapt and then you've got brain fog and you've got memory loss and you've got all these lovely things that go with it, with um, the menopause. But we just have to keep talking about it, help, keep looking for products and things that will help. Um, sleep is imperative. So we have our gorgeous, you know, so sleepy range. Sleep is so important. Rest, fresh air, walking, activity. Um, also a lot of water that's going to flush out your skin as well and hydrate so hydration and um, also just if you have got dry skin that's going to be your number one so that's going to be your rainforest dew so just think, pick and choose from what I've spoken about today hopefully some of it will ring true for you hopefully you're sailing through this whole menopause and perimenopause and your skin's exactly the same and if that's you then good luck to you and um, I'm very very jealous um, but the majority of people will be affected and your skin does change. But if you do need any help with any recommendations, please let me know. Um, we're all here for each other. So please add in comments anything that you've been affected by. What are your symptoms? What are you going through? What products have you used of Tropics or um, that has really helped? I'd love to hear about that as well. Any recommendations you've got. But I'll post a few little pictures and things beneath this video. Um, thank you for listening, for me rambling on, and I um, hope you're having a fantastic day, and we'll get through it. And if you're having hot flushes, that's the other thing as well, hot flushes, if you are warm, morning mist is perfect, it's that beautiful um, light hydrating toner. You can have, you know, you can get little mini ones in our skincare discovery kit, you can get the larger ones, you can keep them in your bathroom, so at night you can just spritz and cool down. Um, but there's lots of different symptoms, and everyone and goes through it in a different way, but... We're all here for each other and I will catch up with you soon and any questions about anything I've posted or said today, then let me know. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.